Good morning children. We finished our first lesson in science and today we are learning our second lesson measuring things. Measuring things. In our daily life without measurement. Measurement means alam. Namakku namada daily life ile measurement illade jivikyan patilla. Alam. And we need to measure many things in our daily life. And here one activity is given. Uh, four measuring instruments are given in your textbook. You have to identify the, these measuring instruments. First one very familiar and you are using scale. And second one is thermometer. And see you might have seen a thermometer. This is thermometer. And by this, by using thermometer, we can measure the temperature. Okay. Then next is what spring balance weight. We can measure weight. Next is clock. We can measure time. So daily life we are using these all instruments to measure things and see we measure distance from one place to another length of cloth weight of a person time temperature and we purchase vegetables and fruits of certain weight a tailor takes measurements for something to stitch ours may be school uniform may be our frock like tailor taking measurements and measurement is an essential part of our life so let us see how did all the people take measurements in olden times they used to first we are learning to measure length l e n g t h length First, we are learning to measure length. In your maths class, you might have learned to measure and you might have learned to draw lines by measuring, by taking measurement, measurement in your scale. Okay. Then see, in olden times, people used hand span. This is one hand span from here to here. If I am measuring like this and taking the length of this page, then if you are measuring, your hand span is shorter than my hand span. So the measurement is different. And see here, foot span, and this is cubit from here to here. Other measure in in Malayalam we are telling Muda or Muda. Then pace. Ida Poliana Lanirina. But these all measurements are different for each people. Oro Tedike e measurement Pitya Samai Kole. End the Kaikin Nilam Udala Honda. End the Kaida Cubit Vitya Samaiku Ningalda Cubitilam. A P measurement in Amuki, you see, and Patilla. A leg, a orimeter cloth to Angikimbo, number Kaivachan alakuna dangle, cubitana beokina dangle, palarthum, palala vilikita. A leg. So we have to make a standard unit. That is the standard unit of length is meter, M E T R E meter. So which is the standard unit of length? Standard unit of length is meter. M-E-T-R-E, -E, meter. Standard unit of length is meter. So, of you, standard unit of length is meter. And see, one meter can be divided into 100. This is, if you imagine, this is one meter. This one meter can be divided into 100 equal parts, which is called a centimeter. So, meter divided into centimeter. 
and this centimeter can be divided into 10 equal parts called the millimeter. So, meter, centimeter, millimeter. 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeter, 100 centimeter is equal to 10 millimeter. Okay. So, we can divide meter into 100 equal parts called the centimeter and this centimeter into 10 equal parts called millimeter and small length are measured in centimeter small length are measured in centimeter okay and we use meter rod means scale or ruler scale or ruler or measuring tape which is used by tailors and uh, other people to take measure meant to take measurement to measure length measuring tape ruler means scale and see next is uh, we use to we use a ruler to draw line of a specific length if you might have drawn uh, 5 centimeter lengthy line in your maths book isn't it if your maths teacher is asking you to draw a line with 5 cm then you will take this ruler and you measure 5 cm and put two, two dots in your book and you join that dots okay then uh, next is measuring tape is used by tailors to take measurement for stitching cloth so which are the instruments we use the meter rod measuring tape or ruler underline the instruments we use to take measure we use to measure length then long distances are measured in kilometer one kilometer is equal to thousand meter and see the, here it is given one kilometer is equal to thousand meter and one meter is equal to 100 centimeter and 1 centimeter is equal to 10 millimeter. Okay. All of you learn this table. And see, let us do this multiple choice question. And see, long ago people used to measure length with their body parts, scales, meters. Long ago they used body parts. So, all of you tick this answer, body parts. Then second question is, standard unit of length is what? Standard unit of length is meter. Standard unit of length is meter. All of you do this. And next one, activities given in your textbook. Measure the length of your bed at home with your hand span and ruler. And you have to take the measurement of your but that form with the two things with your hand span means if this is uh, you just take the measurement of this book don't take the measurement of your but if uh, you uh, i am using this hand span this book with my two hand span okay and take scale and measure this and kai vechu malakkanam scale vechu malakkanam Measurement Elduga. Ini Ningalda parents noda. Ameodo Achanodo Saint Che Ambrega. Apo scale vacha alana alava ningalu de them parent de them same I the measurement which you taken you have taken with scale is equal in your case and your parents case. And the measurement which you have taken with your hand span is different. Why it is so? Because your hand span is smaller than your mother's or father's hand span. Ningalda achan deo, ammayu deo, kayalavine kalo, koravana, ningala deo. Adile vitya sondavu. Pashe scale vachedukunadile, randa vered kalam, same eye. Well, the measurement which has taken by the scale or ruler is same. So, from this activity, 
we could understand the standard unit of length is meter the standard unit of length is meter so today what we learned measurement is important in our daily life we have to measure many things and we learn to take the measurement of length okay standard unit of length is meter standard unit of length is meter and 1 meter can be divided into centimeter 100 equal parts called centimeter and this centimeter can be divided into 10 equal parts called millimeter and small lens measured by centimeter measured with centimeter today all of you learn this okay all of you read this read the text five times and this portion you read five times okay